Hey everyone, Salsa here. In today's game of High Grounds, I will be playing Barbarians vs. Skeleton Reanimator. Barbarians are a deck type that rely on slowing down your opponents with wound effects while whittling down your opponents with rampaging attackers. Before I move on to the deck tech, I need to say something. I have never played Barbarians before today, and the list I am running might not be the most efficient. I also don't have the typical Barbarian finishers like Crusher or Barristan, so the list you see today is closer to a budget deck than an actual competitive one. With that out of the way, let's look at the units. The Rampaging Barbarians I am running consists of 1 Fog, who disrupts my opponent with the Snipe ability, 2 Stags, which are the main way I can kill my opponents, and 2 Rooks, which are an all-around aggressive units. I also run two copies of the Barbarian Queen, Driaga, to close out games once I am far ahead of my opponents. My economy is simple with two copies of May and two copies of Harden. And for support units, I run one Yorn, who combos well with Snipes with Fog's Snipe ability due to his knockout ability, and one copy of Rune for mass wound effects. Usually, in Barbarian decks, your commander would have the Barbarian typing. Since I don't usually play Barbarians, I don't actually have a commander with that criteria. So instead I chose to run Edward, who I had explained in my last video. If you plan on running Barbarians for yourself, you should probably make a commander with the Barbarian typing. For now, let's head into the game. The game starts with my opponent and I each playing one economy unit, with my opponent playing a mana and myself playing a Harden. My opponent skips his turn 2, but since I only drew one more economy unit rather than two, I can't suppress my opponent too much in tempo. Trying to be cheesy, I attempt to shut off my opponent's economy with Fog and his snipe ability. While not crippling, I do shut off one economy unit when my opponent purchases a second mana. With all the units in my opponent's economy that I have seen prioritizing the front row, I set up the combo of Fog and Yorn. Snipe, snipe triggers before the battle begins, at the same speed as Lord Effect or Ezix Reanimator. Since Snipe triggers first, Yorn's knockout ability is almost guaranteed to knock out one unit, lest my opponent puts a unit with defense in the top spot of the front row. The unit I end up hitting, Meralt, shows me that my opponent is likely playing a reanimator deck. Since my opponent's ghasts and mana would give him enough economy for Ezek plus two Meralt's, I set up Rune for a preemptive strike, where Rune himself is met with a snipe from my opponent's Zar. Since at this point in the game I have a tempo lead over my opponent, I try to further that lead by purchasing a few economy units, one stag, and one copy of Rook. I keep stag in the top spot of the front row to block Sar's snipe with his defense. My opponent makes use of the fact that I have kept Fog sniping for the majority of the game by making Ezek reanimate the snipe's target into his saw. Since Ezek, a frail unit, requires being adjacent to two units, reanimator decks are inherently weak to mass wound effects. I keep Fog sniping in the back row so that I don't have to put Rune in a vulnerable position where he can be sniped by my opponent's Zar. I purchase the first of my Barbarian Lords. Since I haven't seen my opponent's commander, I keep Triaga in the back row to dodge a wound-based skeleton commander, despite her dealing less damage in the back row. I manage to knock out my opponent's Ezek with the Rune. I try to end the game before my opponent recovers his Ezek by purchasing my second Driaga and sending my Rampagers to the front row. I still keep Fog in the back row to spam his Snipe ability.
Unfortunately, and nearly game ending, my opponent's Ezek that should have been knocked out due to it being frail was instead only wounded on my opponent's client due to a bug. And he is able to revive Ezek with Aethon's Drain ability, which also ends up wounding both of my Driagas and knocking out one with Ezek's Reaper. I still pressure my opponent's life total with my Rampagers and threaten to end the game next turn. Driagas are not. Unfortunately, my newly knocked out Triaga is the one unit I don't draw, which results in my damage output being significantly lower. I still try to capitalize on how much damage I can deal by having my Mei increase my two Stag's Rampages. When the battle starts, I get a brief glimpse of my opponent's commander with 10 attack and 2 wound before he is reanimated away. In high grounds, if your commander is removed from the field in any way except for transform, your city takes 2 damage. That damage didn't matter in this instance since I still overpowered my opponents, but it is something important that you should know. If you enjoyed this game and would like to play it for yourself, you may do so by following the link in the description. High Grounds is a free-to-play browser game that is easy to get into due to its low learning curve and daily free units. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my channel. Until next time, have a good day.